Your patient's having another asthma attack. Again, hypothetically, of course. Talk me through the treatment options of an acute asthma attack right now. I have no idea. Or you'll never forget it by remembering exactly what you'll be thinking. Oh shit me. O is for oxygen to try to maintain sats between 94 and 98%. S, think of salbutamol, your short acting beta agonist. Nebulized, driven by oxygen if needed and given back to back. H. Think of hydrocortisone, the IV steroid, or its oral equivalent, prednisolone. The typical rule of thumb is 40 milligrams of oral prednisolone in an asthma attack versus 30 milligrams in COPD. Next is I, iprotropium. That's your short-acting muscarinic antagonist. Like salbutamol, you can drive it through a nebulizer back to back. So far, these are the things you can start yourself, whereas the next three you need to escalate to a senior. T, think of theophylin, or theophylin, whatever you want to call it, and its sister, aminophylin. These are called the methylxanthines, and they stimulate bronchodilation by increasing cyclic AMP. M is for magnesium, typically two grams IV. It reduces calcium influx, so there's less muscular contraction and more bronchodilation. And lastly, E is escalate. You may need to be contacting ICU. And I better just clarify, all of this of course is just to help you remember this stuff for your medical exams. This is not clinical advice. I've got some more memory hacks for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.